everybody, welcome to another video from Warrior Free Boat Club. Today I have a booking on a sport boat, a Sea Ray, single engine, inboard engine, so I'm gonna give you guys a walkthrough. I had a booking from 2 to 6, I'm showing up at 2 o'clock. I got my buddies, we got some wakeboard, we got some drinks, some lunch, so I'm ready to go out on the water, of course, again. I have my license, my membership card ready to go. If you don't have those, you can't use the boats. Just as another side note, 4,000 that I'm fine for no license, 2,000 that I'm fine for no membership card, so make sure you have those with you. So, Judy with us. Judy is our third employee, right? Third or fourth? Third employee. He's been with us now for about three years. So Judy's going to help us out today. Uh, he has a checklist ready for me. He's warmed up the boat. The boat is cleaned and ready to go for me. So he's filled out all the necessary information already, but of course when I get on the boat, I want to check the fuel level, check the safety equipment as always, make sure the registration card's on board so I don't run into any issues. Of course, again, I take off my shoes. I don't want to damage anything. Uh, as a single engine inboard in uh, boat, the engine of the boat is actually right under the seat and the propeller is under the swimming platform so I can't inspect them. The guys do dive on the boats to check the boats out, but this is where the engine is. In case you need to know that, the color is down there. So I get on the boat, 2D is going to show me the fuel level, but I like to always know that I'm going to be safe. So he's going to, you know, I'm going to check the safety equipment for myself. You know, if there's four or five guys in the boat, you know, I want to make sure I got a kid with me. There's kid life jackets, there's adult life jackets. Uh, you know, however many people are on the boat, you want to make sure that there's enough life jackets for the boat, uh, for the number of people. There should be the maximum amount of life jackets for the registration of the boat, which is typically eight or 12. But, you know, always want to double check, make sure the safety equipment looks like it's in good shape. So I get on the boat, do my walk around, you know, my friends are on the boat, they're ready to go. Check the fuel level. We're at about seven eighths. So Chitty marks that on the checklist. I confirm it and uh, go ahead and sign that. Once we're on the boat again, most of the time it's going to be running, but the key's right here on, on the boats. Typically on an inboard engine boat that's an, you know, an American style lake boat. The ignition key is going to be right here next to the boat. So again, you have your GPS and fish finder here. You have your location. It's also going to give you a depth uh, of the water. The Siri 260 setup is a sport boat, so as you know, it's a bit louder than other boats, but that's okay. I like the way that it sounds. So we're ready to pull away. One of the things to note here is that this is a right pontoon. So I'm going to be pulling away from the direction that I want to be going. If there's wind, if there's current, this is a little bit more difficult to pull away from. And being a single engine boat, uh, you know, it's a bit diff more difficult to maneuver than a, than a twin engine. So what I'm going to ask the guys to do, because I want to make sure I don't want to scratch the boat, is I'm going to ask the guys to take the ropes away, and then they're going to walk me back so I don't bump the marina. So it's a windy day. I want to make sure that uh, I don't bump the marina. It's a single engine boat. It's a little bit more difficult to, to move. So I've asked the guys to push me backwards a little bit so we can get clear of the marina before I start to maneuver, so I make sure that I don't hit the, hit the marina as I'm pulling out. So again, turn away from the marina. I'm gonna wait till I'm clear. I don't wanna bump anything. Marina's clear. Now I'll do a sharp left turn. All right, clear the berth. Now 2D has gone ahead and pull in the fenders. Again, make sure that you pull in the fenders and the ropes before you disembark. I put it in forward. As we start to pull away, fenders are inside, ropes are inside, everybody's clear. Another thing I just want to make a quick mention of that I haven't mentioned in the other videos is you have children on board if they're 10 years or of age or younger, they always have to be wearing life jackets. As soon as they leave the marina, they have to, be, they have, to have the life jackets on. It's a 10,000 that I'm fine if they don't. So please, our guys will remind you, the kids may be a bit annoyed at you, Telling you, Daddy, I don't want to wear this. Mommy, I don't want to wear this. But unless they have 10,000 that I was paper, they're fine. They gotta wear it. So again, I have the boat just in forward position. I'm not giving any gas. No wake zone in all of the marinas. So I'll wait till I'm clear of the marina. Today we're not gonna go out to sea, but we're just gonna go out, come back in, so I should show you guys how to park. On the twin engine boats, as I mentioned, you can do a 360 turn by playing the engines against each other. On a single engine boat, unfortunately, you don't have that option. So you kind of have to do about a, depending how good you are, 3.4.7 point turn. So once I'm clear, I'll turn the wheel all the way to the left. I'll put it in reverse. It should pull the boat back that way. There's a little bit of current coming in from the sea, so I want to be wary of that. Always, you know, make sure you're looking around you. Make sure there's no boats or anything around. 
again, keep your speed under control. Pull it back. Once I start getting close to going straight, I'll put it into forward. So again, when you're going out on the boat, make sure you take a look at the other boats around you and that, the, G, the, the birth numbers so you know where to go when you come back. Uh, you know, these boats, all of our boats in the palm belong in the G berth. So this is the G berth. You know, recognize that yacht when I will have to booking. So I'm coming back in. Of course, when you return from your booking, uh, you want to give the guides a call to make sure that they're waiting for you. I've already gone ahead and called the staff so they know that, I, that I'm coming back in so that they're waiting for me to help me out with the ropes. Now, a bit of a difference when you're parking on a right pontoon when you're entering it from this direction is you don't want to turn into the parking straight away. You actually need to make a big circle, reverse, and then again you want to pull in towards the corner. So the parking's on the right, but I'm going to the left. So I want to make a big circle. So once I'm even with the parking, I'll turn right to give me in the general direction. Again, when there's wind and there's current, it's really important that you don't try to make a straight turn into the parking. So I'm in the general direction of the parking. I'll put it in reverse just to get me lined up. Again, usually you want to be aiming for the corner of the parking space. You want to have your boat situated. When you're going into the parking, the boat is lined up with the corner of the parking space. It makes it much easier to park when you're going straight towards the corner because then you just pop into reverse, turn the wheel right, and hopefully go park straight ahead. have the ropes, I put it into neutral. You know, again, these boats, this is a 350 horsepower engine. I don't want to be fighting the guys, them pulling on the ropes, me using the throttle. If they have a rope in their hand, I don't touch the throttle. So we'll go ahead and keep it going. Give me into the parking space. I'll leave the engine running just in case if there's a wind or a current or something. I always want to have the engines on in case the boat gets pulled away from the marina and you need to engage the drive. So don't turn the engine off until you're all the way in. I'm in, fenders are in place, ropes are good, everything's all right. I'll go ahead and turn the engine off. Had a great day, caught some waves, had our lunch. I did a 360 flip on my wakeboard, I'm ready to go home. I'm tired, friends want to go have a drink. So we're in the marina now. My buddies are going to get off the boat. When my, after my buddies leave, I'm going to spend 30 seconds, a minute to walk around, make sure the boat's in the condition that I got it, and also make sure I didn't leave anything, sunglasses, cell phones, all of that kind of stuff. I want to make sure I didn't have it. Again, the registration card is here. You know, it's here when I got the boat. It's going to be here when I leave. Don't want to take that home. If you take it home, it's a big problem. Judy's going to come back on. I'm going to check the fuel level. So... It's seven eighths. Have you, he gave, let's say he gave it to me full. I owe him seven eighths. I owe him an eighth on the Sea Ray. 90 dirhams, of course. I carry cash on me because that's what you do when you have a booking. I'm going to give him 100 dirhams. He's going to give me my change. Maybe I'll give him the 10 dirhams because he's a nice, nice guy. He's got kids to take care of back in the Philippines. Uh, sign the checklist. Again, it's a good practice. Take a picture of it. You don't have to. I like to do that for my records just to make sure if there's any questions later on. Again, if there's any comments, concerns, anything happened while you're on the water, please make sure to fill out the comment section. We do our best to address all of your issues. So please, the comment section is very important. I'm gonna go ahead and jump off the boat, go home, catch a nap, get a massage, watch some TV. Thank you guys for checking out another Worry Free Boat Club video. Appreciate your business. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can always reach out to myself, Wayne, Hijaz, Cheryl, Grace, anybody on the Worry Free Boat Club team, send us an email, call us, carrier pigeon, whatever you wanna do. Thanks again for your business and welcome to Rayford Book Club.